सी एच थ्री एन एच सी एच थ्री एंड सी एच थ्री होल थ्राइस एन कैन बी केमिकली डिस्टिंग बाय फर्स्ट इज कार्बाइल अमीन टेस्ट द नेक्स्ट इज बेनेडिक टेस्ट एंड द नेक्स्ट ऑप्शन इज हिन्सबर्ग रिएजेंट एंड द लास्ट ऑप्शन इज ल्यूकास टेस्ट स्टूडेंट वी आर गिवन विद टू डिग्री अमीन एंड थ्री डिग्री अमीन to distinguish between 2 degree and 3 degree amine hinzberg's reagent is used students first of all i'm writing the structures of hinzberg's reagent which is benzene sulfonyl chloride which is benzene s double bond o double bond o cl this is benzene sulfonyl chloride this when reacts with a 2 degree amine i'm writing the reaction ch3 nh ch3 when reacts with ph c s double bond o double bond o cl the products of formed is benzene s double bond o s n ch3 ch3 this compound formed is insoluble in alkali when 3 degree amine which is ch3 whole thrice n reacts with benzene sulfonyl chloride which is benzene s double bond o double bond o cl no reaction takes place so hinzberg reagent is used to distinguish between 2 degree amines and 3 degree amines that means the correct answer for this question is option number 3 moving to next question which is 72 carbonyl compounds which reacts with each other in the presence of dilute sodium hydroxide solution followed by dehydration gives acrolein r the options are formaldehyde and benzaldehyde the next is formaldehyde and acetaldehyde the next option is acetone and acetaldehyde and the last option is acetone and benzaldehyde student first of all the conditions given that is dilute sodium hydroxide followed by dehydration represents aldol condensation so we have to identify that which compounds on aldol condensation gives acrolein so first of all i'm drawing the structure of acrolein which is CH2 double bond CH C double bond OH this is acrolein students now we have to identify that which compounds on aldol condensation gives acrolein so let's start with formaldehyde and acetaldehyde formaldehyde is H C double bond OH and acetaldehyde is CH3 C double bond O h as it is very clear that acetaldehyde has alpha hydrogen so this reacts with alkali to give ch2 minus c double bond o h this further reacts with formaldehyde to give let's see ch2 o h single bond ch2 c double bond o which on further heating releases water molecule and gives ch2 double bond ch c double bond o h that is acrolein so the correct answer for this question is option number 2 moving to next question which is 73 in the following reaction acetonilide when reacts with br2 with ch3cooh that is ethanoic acid gives c and when the major product c reacts in acidic medium it gives d we have to identify d the options are 2 bromoaniline the next is 3 bromoaniline the next option is 4 bromoaniline and the last option is 2 4 6 tri bromoaniline so student first of all i'm drawing the structure of acetonilide which is benzene nh c double bond o ch3 this when reacts with br2 in the presence of ethanoic acid gives para bromo acetonilide as a major product 
This when reacts in acidic medium gives para bromo aniline, which is four bromo aniline. So, student, the correct answer for this question is option number three. Moving to next question, which is seventy-four. The compound given when reduced in the presence of platinum, a compound A as a major product is formed. We have to identify A, and the options are phenyl methanamine. The next is azobenzene. The next option is azoxybenzene. And the last option is aniline. So, students, let's see what is the product formed. First of all, benzene is attached with C triple bond N. This, when reduced, that is hydrogen is added in the presence of platinum. The compound becomes C H two N H two. That means phenyl methanamine is formed. Therefore, the correct answer is option number one. Moving to next question, which is seventy-five. The strongest acidic compound among the following is the options are CH three OH that is methanol. The next is CH three COOH that is ethanoic acid. The next is phenol, and the last option is HCOOH that is methanoic acid. Students, as we all know, that carboxylic acids are generally stronger acids than alcohols. So it is very clear that either option number two or option number four will be the strongest acid. So let's compare between two and four. In the second option. CH3 group is attached to the carboxylic group, and since we know that CH3 group is an electron donating group, which ultimately decreases the acidic character. So the strongest acid among the following is methanoic acid. That is option number four. I am also writing the order of acidic strength among the given compounds, starting with HCOOH, which is the strongest acid among the following. Followed with ethanoic acid, which is further followed by phenol, and the least acidic among the following is methanol. I am also writing the Ka values of the following, which is 10 to the power minus 4 for methanoic acid, 10 to the power minus 5 for ethanoic acid, 10 to the power minus 10 for phenol, and 10 to the power minus 16 for methanol. As we all know, that higher the value of Ka, stronger the acid. This also clears that methanoic acid among the following is the strongest acid. So the correct answer is option number four. Moving to next question, which is seventy-six. 